Welcome to this episode of Surprise We Both Love Movies. Today we're going to be reviewing Borat, subsequent movie film starring Sasha Baron Cohen and Maria Bakalova, which is streaming on Amazon Prime right now. So it's free. You don't have to pay for it. If you have Amazon Prime, you can watch this movie. Lamont, go ahead and lead us off on what this movie was about. All right. <laughs> Borat's subsequent movie film. <laughs> it's basically the story after the first Borat, he returned back to Kazakhstan and he was a national disgrace. He brought so much dishonor to his home country of Kazakhstan. <laughs> they basically, after that, they said, Borat, you got to go to jail for the rest of your life. Then all of a sudden, 14 years later, the premier has this grand idea that he's going to try to win back Kazakhstan's favor and standing in the world. And he's come up with an idea and he wants to give a gift to the United States president. So I want you to take this gift back. And before he even got there, he had to, he went to go see his family, which he hadn't seen in like 14 years. And so he goes back and everything's different. His boys are older. He's got a daughter and everybody doesn't really have want anything to do with him. So he goes, he takes his gift. Everybody in the town is like, get out of here, go. We don't like you. You ruined us. And it goes to the United States to figure, to give this gift, not to Donald Trump, but instead to the vice president instead. Yep. And along that journey, you've seen any Sacha Baron Cohen movies or television shows. His premise is that he takes unsuspecting people, real life people, and he presents this character, whatever character he is, and he plays that action out on the screen for your enjoyment, for your pleasure, for your uh, cringiness, for yes. your... <laughs> for your <laughs> <laughs> entertainment and to kind of sometimes go geez do people really let things like this slide and it's a blast but i'll get into my review in a minute aaron what do you think of it no i don't find it a blast and this goes along with the silly movie thing that we've talked about in the past i don't like silly movies per se and i did not like the first borat it's a movie that i would never watch again and when I found this was out, I, I was like, damn, now I'm going to have to watch this movie. And yeah, you know, I only laughed twice in this movie. Wow. There, for me, there was only one absolutely hilarious sequence, <laughs> which really, yeah, it, it's, gonna, it's always going to make me laugh when I see it. And that, the sequence that I thought was hilarious is there was a point in the movie where he's going to get a cake made. <laughs> A very inappropriate cake, which I can't believe they made the cake for him with the writing on it. Um, but then his daughter wants a cupcake. Now, apparently in Kazakhstan, they're not allowed to have sweets. Like, it's against the law, so the authorities can't see it. And she begs and begs and begs to get a cupcake. So he's like, okay. She picks one on top of it. Uh, 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 you know, uh, an ornament, uh, plastic so they then go to the back of the building. Don't so that, ruin it. Don't ruin I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to okay. ruin it. But they go to the back of the building, and he kind of keeps peeking around the corner to make sure no authorities are seeing it. And she actually – which then leads them to the doctor. Uh, 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 <laughs> that's as far as I'm going to get, okay? Oh, my gosh. I have not laughed that hard in a very long time. So that was the only funny thing in the movie. The only oh, other funny wow. thing I saw was when he went to the cell phone store and he got a phone <laughs> and the guy was showing him how to, to do a call back and forth. Yeah, and yeah. he then shows him the internet. And yeah, that yeah. it was disgusting, but right. it was pretty freaking funny. Uh, right. And the that guy's was the reaction. Only two times that was the only two times you laughed. Well, outside of that, I didn't laugh at all. Wow. I yeah, I don't. I don't find his humor to be that funny. I think if he, this movie was too focused on the story that they were trying to tell, and not so much the skits. So I think they really missed the ball on doing some funny stuff. And well, I, I completely disagree with you. <laughs> I thought this was the funniest movie I've seen all year, hands down. I was there was a couple times where like tears came out. The scene that you were talking about was hilarious. There's another couple scenes, but here's the thing with Borat, and that's in any of his characters in any of his movies. He borderline he he he, he pushes the line of like being obscene or being grossing you out. And there's people that you know I was reading online that there's people that 
some scenes that I found like completely disturbing and people were like, Oh, that was so funny. I was in tears. And I was like, I thought that was probably going too far. And right. that's kind of the beauty of it, of his, of his movies is that, yeah, you might be like grossed out by some things that you see. And as long as it's balanced off with, you know, the traditional kind of comedy, you know, staples and things that are funny and, and his character is just so naive and so stuck in his ways and so, you know, sincere uh, that it's hard to believe that some people, you know, some unknowing, you know, Americans fell victim to this character, but it, it works, you know, it's hilarious. No other, there's no other movie like this. There's no other movie that does that where they just there certainly is not to the world <laughs> and say, hey, you know what, can you find the funny? And there is just so much funny in this movie. I would just say, if you love the first one or if you even like the first one, watch this one. I felt like it was even just as good, maybe even technically maybe a little bit better in some ways to me because it was just funny. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to push your boundaries and good comedy does that. It makes you, you know, comedy is all about truth. And so things that you find funny are your truths and things that you find offensive, you might go, ah, I'm not that comfortable with that. Maybe that's not something I laugh about or feel comfortable about laughing about. But he's going to push you. You're going to laugh. The woman that plays uh, his daughter in the movie, she does a great job. And there's just some crazy scenarios that he puts <laughs> people, unwitting Americans into. And they just unfortunately <laughs> do not make good decisions. And it's just, it's just a blast is all I have to say. It is a blast. <laughs> All right. So what would you give this as a score? So as a movie and as a comedy, I haven't seen a good comedy in a long time. That just kept me laughing. And so as a movie, I give it a, a nine as a movie, Whoa. as a movie, <laughs> as a comedy movie. No, as a movie. It ended well. It had some depth to it. I wouldn't say it's a film. I'm not going to give it a film score. But the way that it came together at the end was surprising. I never had a comedy movie that put that much thought into making something funny. And it actually felt like a legitimate like plot point for like a Hollywood level dramatic movie. And it worked as a comedy. So in that regard, that's what took it from being an eight to a nine was the way that it wrapped up. And I thought that was beautiful. Aaron, yeah. what did you think? You, I would agree with you, but I wouldn't find what they did at the end overly hilarious. It was clever. Right, it was clever. Right. It was extremely clever, extremely. but I wouldn't call it overly hilarious. And no, that's, no. Where, that's where this falls flat for me. So as a movie, I give it a two. Whoa. Like, I would never watch it again. <laughs> um, I, I feel the same way about the first one. I, I think the first one was a lot more offensive than this one, if I remember right. Oh, um, wow. I was really offended by the first one in a lot of ways. I don't think this one was quite as offensive, but it's definitely not appropriate for kids. Um, no. Keep kids way, <laughs> way far away. No, uh, not for kids. And I, I, what I'll tell people is if you didn't like the first one, you're not going to like this one. If you like no. the first one, you're going to like this one. And you're on one side of the fence or the I mean, other. To me, it's just, it was great. I mean, it was touching. It had touching moments. It had dramatic moments. It, had, it was clever at the end. If you want to laugh, if you're not easily, if you're not too offended, you have kind of thick skin, you're going to really like this movie. You really are. And if you found the first one funny, you're going to like it. But it's not for everybody, but no. it's for a lot of people. It is. So it is free on Amazon Prime. We're thankful for everybody who subscribed to us so far. And uh, we do have the podcast people can listen to. We, we encourage anybody on their, whatever platform they're on to search for Surprise. We both love movies. We're on many platforms and you can follow us there and always get the download links on Facebook as well as they get released. Uh, so that's all we have for this week. I'm Aaron Fisher. And I'm Lamont Lovejoy. We'll see you guys next time.